What's up guys? This is Wally coming at you from a hot, hot day here in Imperial PA where it is 88 degrees for the second day of fall. Awesome. Anyway, I am at the site of an abandoned Kings. This is number four out of the five that were closed when the uh, new owner took over and the original owner kept five of them. So let's go check this one out. It looks just like the other ones. So here it is, Kings and Imperial, right off of Route 22. Again, I like how they leave the breakfast, lunch, and dinner sign up until Kings down. Like I mentioned in the other videos too, probably to try and get a potential buyer to keep this as a restaurant. So they would know that it was a restaurant. The building is for lease. There's a look inside with everything in there again. They just got up and left. Looks like it was cleared out of like silverware and things of that nature, but tables, booths, and chairs are all still in there. Sorry about the glare and focusing problems. Here's the uh, entrance. Need cash ATM inside. Somebody was hammered when they put that up. There's an Easter egg on the ground. Window cling. Door is locked. Take a look through the uh, windows here of the main entrance. You just see my reflection in the other doorway. Very sunny out here too, beautiful day. Just can't believe how warm it is for uh, September 23rd. That door is locked as well. Now the blinds are down in here, but we might still be able to see inside. I know it's a bit hard, guys. I'm sorry. But again, they just got up and left because uh, the original owner didn't want to have to pay a higher rent or fee or anything like that to keep them. So they just closed them up. And from what people have told me on my other Kings videos is that they pulled the same move that uh, the owner of Joe's Crab Shack pulled by just closing the restaurant, not giving anybody any warning, which is terrible. I might've mentioned that in one of the other Kings videos, but I can't remember. It's been a while. Here's their refrigeration unit. I'm curious what's back here. Can't even get through it. Just looks like it was parking. I guess they blocked it off so you couldn't drive through here. Maybe employee parking, perhaps. Here's your garbage area with a four pack of Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> Look at that, they're still in there too. Well, you'll find anything in here. Maybe somebody bought them and they didn't like them. Ah, uh, look at that. Now see, why do people have to do that? Did you really think by breaking this window you'd be able to get in anyway? I mean, look. You got metal behind it anyway. Can't open up the door. There's no way to try. I will try the doorbell, though. It rang! <laughs> if you heard that, but it did ring. <laughs> garbage area one more time I, I that though who leaves beer go to waste I don't know that's alcohol abuse and I don't know how long that's been sitting there I'm sure it baked in the Sun all day so I bet it tastes like garbage now that door is locked 
and now we know this place still has power. Lots of weeds growing around here. These bushes, though, are pretty nice, though. They're still good looking, though. Somebody almost wrecked. You can see the scar from the King's logo. It actually had the newer style King's lettering on it, the current style. And they closed it down anyway. I'll show you the uh, sign too at the front of the parking lot in a minute. Wow, look at that. They had a fireplace in here. The mantle. Ah, oh, this was a nicer one. Sorry you can't see very well though because of the blinds. I'm trying. But that's really cool that they had that. Looks like there was some dining space behind it too. I wonder if it was like a double sided uh, fireplace. Like you could see a fire on both sides. Like I said, we're literally just off of uh, US Route 22. So you hear a lot of cars in the background. That's the highway. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have their power on. And if that says that right, it says fat errors. <laughs> I don't know why. There's the sign up there too, right next to the McDonald's sign. There is a McDonald's right next door to us. I wanted to show you this though too, because this had the uh, old logo on it. I'm guessing they had put in the, uh, I guess they had put the current style King's logo on there, but they left the bottom the same. I'll show you that from this side. How it says ice cream and fine food. And they placed that there too to get your attention. If you were on the highway, you could take the exit to come down here and get something to eat. Because there, there's a lot of businesses in this small little area here. A couple gas stations, a shop and save, a couple restaurants, a couple banks. We're actually on the road that goes out towards Burgettstown, PA, where uh, the Key Bank Pavilion is. Where big uh, music stars come to play. They get all the country shows out there. I was just listening to Jason Aldean uh, this afternoon and some other country music. Uh, I was listening to his song, A Little More Summertime, because as I was saying in another video, I love summer. I hate to see it end, but it definitely feels like summer right now with it being in the upper 80s. That's pretty cool. It looks like somebody may have tried to get in up there. I don't know if that was a person or maybe an animal or what. hard to say. I don't know if anybody's in here or not. Here's another look of the inside from the front entrance. Really nice inside. Like I said, it is available. Be nice to see it come back. Who knows if it will or not. All right, guys, well, that was my look at the Abandoned Kings here in Imperial, PA. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like and you subscribe to my channel for more content if you're not already a subscriber. And until next time, guys, take care.